Well, Pastor Marvin, how do I get stronger in the Lord? How do I get stronger so I can last longer, so I can endure to the end and be those in the company of those that will be saved who endure to the end, as Matthew 24, 13 declares? Great question. Here's the answer. It's in the Word of God. Psalm 71, verse 16. David said, I will go in the strength of the Lord my God and speak of his righteousness, even his only. David said, here's how I get stronger. Here's how I last longer. He said, I go in the strength of the Lord my God. Brother Marvin, how do you keep going? You keep going. That's how you keep going. You just keep going. Back up in verse 14 prior to this in Psalm 71, David said, I will hope in the Lord continually and yet praise him more and more. David said two things right here. I'm not going to praise him less. I'm going to praise him more. And then he says, I'm going to keep going for the Lord. And that's how I'll keep going for the Lord. That's how I get strength. Psalms 84 verses 7 says, everyone goes from strength to strength that appears, that meets with God in Zion. In other words, when you study Psalms 84, it begins in verses 1 saying, how beautiful, how amenable is the tabernacles of the Lord God our host. And he talks about hunger and thirsting for the house of God. Then by verses 7 of Psalms 84, he said, I go from strength to strength. Why? Because I appear before God in his house. Friend, how do you get stronger and last, endure, Hallelujah to the end. Amen. It's simple. If you're going to keep going, you got to keep going. You got to keep praising him. You don't praise him less. You praise him more. You don't preach less. You preach more. You don't have church less. You have church more. You do what you're doing and you do more of it. That's what you do. Forsaking not the assembling of yourselves together is the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. How? Much more as you see that day approaching Hebrews 10 verse 25. You know why people are wearing out? Because people are relaxing, reclining back. In God's word in Galatians chapter 4, I believe it is. Verses 9, he said, Be ye not weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you faint not. The word weary, the very first definition of weary in Greek is to be relaxed. Yeah, before people wear out, People recline back. They start lightening up. Amos the prophet said it this way as he warned the people with a word of woe. In Amos 6 and 1, he said, Woe unto those that are at ease in Zion. God ain't anointed and called the saint modernly for the easy. He's called us for the endurance, to endure to the end. And friend, the only way I know after 32 years of traveling and preaching this gospel and being a pastor and being a shepherd, amen, glory to God, is when you don't feel like doing it, that's when you do it. When you feel like I can't go another mile, that's when you go the extra mile. How do you keep going for the Lord? You just keep going for the Lord. Because David again said in Psalm 71, 16, I will go in the strength of the Lord my God. Hallelujah. And declare his righteousness, even his only. He said, I go in the strength. The only way you're going to get strength and go from strength to strength, you got to keep going. You got to keep doing. Got to keep praising, keep praying, keep preaching, keep going to God's house. You just stay with it. That's how you get stronger in it, in Jesus' name.